The Krimchaks Krimchik, SG. Krimka Krimka, place. Krimkeller Krimkeller are Jewish ethno-religious communities of Crimea derived from Turkic-speaking adherents of Orthodox Judaism. They have historically lived in close proximity to the Crimean Karaites, also Turkic but who follow Karaiti Judaism. At first Krimchik was a Russian descriptive used to differentiate them from their Ashkenazi Jewish coreligionists, as well as other Jewish communities in the former Russian Empire such as the Georgian Jews, but in the second half of the 19th century this name was adopted by the Krimchaks themselves. Before this their self-designation was Srel Balalari, S-R-E-L Balalari literally children of Israel. The Crimean Tatars referred to them as Zulufli Kufutler, Jews with Peo, to distinguish them from the Karaites, who were called Zulufs's Kufutler, Jews without Peo. Topic. Language The Krimchaks speak a modified form of the Crimean Tatar language, called the Krimchik language. It is the Jewish patois, or ethnolect of Crimean Tatar, which is a Kipchak Turkic language. Krimchik is not a distinct language, but only one constituent of Crimean Tatar. Before the Russian Revolution in 1917, the Krimchaks were at least bilingual, they spoke the Krimchik ethnolect and at the same time mostly used Hebrew for their religious life and for written communication. The Krimchaks adhered to their Turkic patois up to World War II, but later began to lose their linguistic identity. Now they are making efforts to revive their language. Many of the linguistic characteristics of the Krimchik language could be found in the Crimean Tatar language. In addition, it contains numerous Hebrew and Aramaic loan words and was traditionally written in Hebrew characters now it is written in Cyrillic script. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins Krimchaks are probably partially descended from Jewish refugees who settled along the Black Sea in ancient times. Jewish communities existed in many of the Greek colonies in the region during the late Classic period. Recently excavated inscriptions in Crimea have revealed a Jewish presence at least as early as the 1st century BCE. In some Crimean towns, monotheistic pagan cults called Sebominoi Theon Hypsistan, worshippers of the All Highest God, or God Fearers existed. These quasi-proselytes kept the Jewish commandments but remained uncircumcised and retained certain pagan customs. Eventually, these sects disappeared as their members adopted either Christianity or normative Judaism. Another version is that after the suppression of Bar Kokhba's revolt by the Emperor Hadrian, those Jews who were not executed were exiled to the Crimean Peninsula. The late Classical era saw great upheaval in the region as Crimea was occupied by Goths, Huns, Bulgars, Khazars, and other peoples. Jewish merchants such as the Rodanites began to develop extensive contacts in the Pontic region during this period, and probably maintained close relations with the Proto Krimchik communities. Hazar dominance of Crimea during the early Middle Ages is considered to have at least a partial impact on Krimchik demographics. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages In the late 7th century most of Crimea fell to the Khazars. The extent to which the Krimchaks influenced the ultimate conversion of the Khazars and the development of Hazar Judaism is unknown. During the period of Hazar rule, intermarriage between Crimean Jews and Khazars was likely, and the Krimchaks probably absorbed numerous Hazar refugees during the decline and fall of the Hazar Kingdom a Hazar successor state, ruled by Georgius Sul, was centered in Kerch. It is known that Kipchak converts to Judaism existed, and it is possible that from these converts the Krimchaks adopted their distinctive language. In times when the Crimea belonged to the Byzantine Empire and after then, waves of Byzantine Jews settled there. These newcomers were in most cases merchants from Constantinople and brought with them Romaniote Jewish practices Bonfil 2011. The Mongol conquerors of the Pontic Caspian steppe were promoters of religious freedom, and the Genoese occupation of southern Crimea 1315 saw rising degrees of Jewish settlement in the region. The Jewish community was divided among those who prayed according to the Sephardi, Ashkenazi and Romaniote rites. In 1515 the different traditions were united into a distinctive Krimchik prayer book, which represented the Romaniote rite by Rabbi Moshe HaGola, a chief rabbi of Kiev, who had settled in Crimea. In the 18th century the community was headed by David ben Karasubazar Leno Eliezer d. 1735, author of the introduction to the Kafa 
Wright Prayer Book and Mishkan David, Abode of David, devoted to Hebrew grammar. He was also the author of a monumental Hebrew historical chronicle, Devar Sefetaim, Utterance the Mouth, on the history of the Crimean Khanate. Topic. Tatar and Turkish rule Under the Crimean Khanate the Jews lived in separate quarters and paid the dhimmi tax the jizya. A limited judicial autonomy was granted according to the Ottoman millet system. Overt, violent persecution was extremely rare. According to anthropologist S. Weisenberg, the origin of Krimchaks is lost in the darkness of the ages. Only one thing can be said, that they carry less Turkic blood than the Karaites, although certain kinship between both peoples and the Khazars can hardly be denied. But Krimchaks during the Middle Ages and modern times constantly mixed with their European counterparts. There was an admixture with Italian Jews from the time of the Genoeses with the arrival of the Lombroso, Piastro and other families. Cases of intermarriage with Russian Jews occurred in recent times. There is no general work on the ethnography of Krimchaks. The available summary of folklore materials is not complete. Extensive anthroponymic data has been collected from the late 19th and early 20th centuries, but does not cover earlier periods, for which archival material does exist. The study of each of these groups of sources can shed light on the ethnogenesis of the Krimchik ethnic minority. <laughs> <laughs> Russian and Soviet rule The Russian Empire annexed Crimea in 1783. The Krimchaks were thereafter subjected to the same religious persecution imposed on other Jews in Russia. Unlike their Karaite neighbors, the Krimchaks suffered the full brunt of anti-Jewish restrictions. During the 19th century many Ashkenazim from Ukraine and Lithuania began to settle in Crimea. Compared with these Ashkenazim the Krimchaks seemed somewhat backward, their illiteracy rates, for example, were quite high, and they held fast to many superstitions. Intermarriage with the Ashkenazim reduced the numbers of the distinct Krimchak community dramatically. By 1900 there were 60,000 Ashkenazim and only 6,000 Krimchaks in Crimea. In the mid-19th century the Krimchaks became followers of Rabbi Chaim Chizikiyahu Medini, also known by the name of his work the Sede Kemed, a Sephardi rabbi born in Jerusalem who had come to Crimea from Istanbul. His followers accorded him the title of Gaon. Settling in Karasu Bazaar, the largest Krimchak community in Crimea, Rabbi Medini spent his life raising their educational standards. The picture of the Sede Kemed here incorrectly says, Krimchik, Krimin Jew author of the Sdei Hemed, Rabbi Chaim Hezekiah Medini. The Sede Kemed himself was not a Krimchik, but he did marry one, so his children were Krimchaki, and he still has Krimchaki descendants today, heard verbally from the former head of the Krimin Krimchik community, Victor Lombroso, and others. By 1897, the Krimchaks stopped being the majority of Talmudic Jews on the Crimean Peninsula. After the Russian Revolution of 1917, civil war tore apart Crimea. Many Krimchaks were killed in the fighting between the Red Army and the White Movement. More still died in the famines of the early 1920s and the early 1930s. Many emigrated to the Holy Land, the United States and Turkey. Under Joseph Stalin, the Krimchaks were forbidden to write in Hebrew and were ordered to employ the Cyrillic alphabet to write their own language. Synagogues and yeshivas were closed by government decree. Krimchaks were compelled to work in factories and collective farms. <laughs> Holocaust and after Unlike the Crimean Karaites, the Krimchaks were targeted for annihilation by the Nazis. 6,000 Krimchaks, almost 75% of their population, were killed by the Nazis. Moreover, upon the return of Soviet authority to the region, many Krimchaks found themselves deported to Central Asia along with their Crimean Tatar neighbors. By 2000, only about 600 Krimchaks lived in the former Soviet Union, about half in Ukraine and the remainder in Georgia, Russia, and Uzbekistan. Some 600 to 700 Krimchaks still clinging to their Crimean identity live in Israel, and others in the United States. See also Jews in Russia Crimean Karaites Khazars Mayor Ashkenazi Topic References
Topic: Sources. Blady, Ken. Jewish Communities in Exotic Places Northvale, NJ: Jason Aronson Inc. 2000. pp. 115 to 130. Melodies at the Right Hand of Eternity. By Nisim Halevi Chatshir, translation from Hebrew into Krimchik language, Jerusalem, 1902, 86 p. Topic: External links. Official Krimchak's community, Krimchaler, in Crimea. Turk Derlik. Krimchaks at the Encyclopedia of Ukraine.